mentioned that um, you don't feel like she would give up her parental rights. How do you feel about raising your grandkids with custody from the court but without having those parental rights? Um, could you ask that again? I don't understand the question. If, if the court would give you custody, it wouldn't necessarily be a concern that she didn't give you parental rights, she would still be raising them and raising them into adulthood because she's got 20 plus years in prison. Mm -hmm. So how would you feel if you didn't get that? Would you help out with that? Effect? Um, I think it would be fine just because, well, I, I am concerned for them and I do hope that uh, they do well, but I still, I feel like this may not be the best idea, seeing as just what I mentioned before, the finances and the, um, I'm not being able to keep up with them. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. How do you feel? It would upset me a lot because, you know, they're old enough to understand that their mom is in jail. Or, you know, they're at that age where they kind of would understand. But the fact that their father was murdered by their mom, and they're this little, and they're living in some home that they have no clue who they are, like, it would upset me if we did not care. And honestly, you're being selfish for not wanting to take care of them, because that's what's best. So I hear that you have a concern for your finances and for being able to provide for the children, which is looking out for their well-being. And you're concerned with the care that the children may be receiving or the placement that they're in, is that correct? Mm -hmm. um, how do you feel about his concerns about the finances? I understand, like, like I said earlier, it's going to be hard. Like, you know, there's going to be, you know, we can't go as, on as many vacations as we do now, but I am willing to sacrifice, you know, trips that we go on to make sure that they get the things they need. How do you feel about her concerns with the children's placement? I can see the concern and I have concern for the children, but I feel forced into it. I feel like she's forcing me <clears throat> and just saying, dragging me along to it and only thinking about the children's welfare and not thinking about our welfare. Because we've, we've tried raising a, child, a kid already and now he's not here anymore, and I don't know if I can handle the burden of trying to raise another two two more kids, and not to mention it's just going to be really draining for me, and I think that it's going to be draining for us, but she can't see that because she's so concerned about taking care of them, and in some senses I feel like they can still be well taken care of, but we can still monitor where they're being taken care of. But I just don't think we have the proper resources, financially or emotionally, to do this. So I hear that you have a concern with the fact that maybe you can't raise them properly and they might turn out like your son. I just feel like, <clears throat> as a father, um, I, I failed my son because for some reason, something happened along the line and I wasn't able to make him turn out the way he was supposed to turn out. And so I don't, I don't want to deal with that again. Can you tell me a little bit about some of the therapy or some, some assistance that you've received since your son's death? Well, I don't go to therapy. This is the first time. <clears throat> Have you received any sort of emotional help since your son's death? Not professionally. There's, you know, my friends, and we try to talk about it at first, but it's just kind of hard. So it's one of those we just take it day by day still. But I had a few close friends that, you know, I lend a hand when I need it, emotionally or anything. So I'm kind of sensing that maybe um, you guys haven't fully coped with your son's death, and that may be part of the issues with raising your grandchildren. Is that correct? Um, can you tell me a little bit about what you know about where they're at and what kind of home they're being raised in right now? Um, as 
as of right now, we don't know. But we're trying. We're trying to get as much information as possible. The mom kind of doesn't want us in her lives at all. So she's kind of restricting us to know. But all we know is they're in a foster home and as much as we know. But we're trying to get them out as soon as possible. So I hear that you want to get them out as soon as possible and you maybe just want to find out more information and kind of help the process in getting them in a safe environment. Right. How do you feel about him wanting to get them in the safe environment and not taking them as your own? I mean, I can understand, but it's still really hard because there are our grandchildren and I feel like they won't get the proper care or discipline as they will with us because they need to forget about their, you know, what happened. And I don't want them to have any contact with their mom. And I feel like if they go into a foster care or a future home that's not with us, they're gonna let them be in contact and that should not happen at all. So you feel like they shouldn't have any further contact with their mother? Oh, no, not at all. How do you feel about that? I'm worried about it because I've always seen the mother as a nurture figure and it takes me two years but they're very attached to her and they have a very strong um, connection with her so I feel like them not seeing their mother and even just visiting could be crippling for them just like a psychologically and emotionally so I feel like they should be able to see her kind of every once in a while just for their own sake and to be able to say I have my so I see a great strength here that you both want what's best for the children. You both want them to be raised to the best of your ability with what you can do. What do you know about um, what kind of therapies the children are receiving or have received? Do you know anything about what's happened with them in the last two years? Uh, they've been seeing a counselor. Um, it's somewhere within the agency foster care and they see a counselor about uh, something or other and that's what they told. We don't know much details of what goes on in their care, what they're trying to talk about, but we know they are seeing someone. But again, we don't really know much. The mother is trying to keep us really out of it. And so we're pretty sure she said something to the agency saying that she doesn't want us to know any so you kind of feel disconnected maybe from the children due to the mom not wanting you to have any contact? Yes. Yeah. She's kind of psycho, so. <laughs> Hence why she's in jail and murdered my son, but she's a great mother. That's why I don't want